Hey everyone, I am so glad to be back and for my first video in the new <laughs> school year I want to show you what I took with me on vacation to Greece. Now, I have to say, you know, if you're traveling with kids, you never know how it's going to be. And, you know, on one hand, I can't even say like, unfortunately, I didn't get to paint a lot because we had such a wonderful vacation. And it just, I don't know, it's just the way that the days were, it just didn't really work for for me to be able to paint and last summer we spent a, a week in Tuscany and we had uh, like a house and there were kittens and it was kind of the you know with the pandemic we weren't vaccinated yet and we spent a like relatively a lot of time in the house it had a lovely garden and a pool and kittens did i say kittens <laughs> and there was just this like beautiful uh table outside in you know surrounded by the tuscan uh countryside and it was really fitting to take out all my um you know, all my equipment, everything that I brought, which was kind of a lot because also we drove there. So I didn't really have to think about weight. Uh, and I could spend like a couple of hours with my kids and everything like spread out. And I actually managed to like paint and sketch more. But this time it was kind of a beach vacation and we were pretty much the whole day on the beach and it was very windy and sandy and you know it's it, it's just like I couldn't comfortably sit and paint uh, I could sketch but yeah I don't know I was just I guess not in the kind of sketching state of mind I had a really good book which I can uh, write below if you're interested I don't know I always find it's like so hard to recommend uh, books because you can be kind of the best of friends and you can really like appreciate someone's you know taste and uh, intellect and everything but you can still like really really <laughs> have problems with disliking books that they recommend to you and vice versa so it's it's like such a hard thing but if you're into fantasy books um I think this one is fantastic and it's called the first book is called the ninth rain and yeah i'm now at the end of the second book it's a trilogy so i was mostly like reading and relaxing and you know serving <laughs> the needs of my kids um but i'll show you what i took with very good intentions and i'll also tell you probably mostly my kids used this stuff more so I'll get to the watercolor part later, which was really like the least used part of the supplies that I brought. What we use the most, I'll start with that, were I brought each kid their own um, kind of sketchbook or notebook. And uh, these are great. I don't even know if these are like available anymore. They're kind of fancy. And for a second there, I was a bit precious with it. And I was like... Do I want to give my kids the good stuff <laughs> when it comes to art supplies and stationery? But I've had these in my stash for, you know, a couple of years now probably and I kind of moved away from um, the traveler's notebook thing, uh, even though I think for traveling it's fantastic. So I decided to give them to them. I have two kids and I brought two notebooks. Um, my 11 year old used a few pages so she didn't even get to halfway through this notebook I think it has I don't know 60 pages I want to say something like that set like that I guess it's from an Etsy shop they had really fantastic things I don't know if they're still around but I'll try to find it it was it was on Etsy Taroko design I don't know if they still exist but they sell beautiful beautiful um, like these kind of inserts for different kinds of traveler notebooks. 
And then this one was for Lily, my five-year-old, and she went through it probably in a week. We were away for two weeks. So I actually bought her there another like notebook at this little, um, you know, mini market with, not with like this nice tamari River paper, just like regular paper. And I also brought with me, she has one of these like, it looks like an iPad, but it's just like, um, a kind of erasable drawing board. It's like a black screen and when you paint it's like green. I don't know if you understand what I mean, but I had that also. So <laughs> between the two notebooks and that and also, um, yeah, I was also a little bit precious, but I let her <laughs> sketch a few pages in my uh, expensive <laughs> sketchbook. So she went through a lot of paper. So probably next time if we go for, you know, more than a week, I would grab a couple of sketchbooks. Uh, because for her, you know, she can draw like one thing on a page and she's done and it takes her like five minutes. Um, these are great because, you know, they're soft cover so they're light. We flew there and, you know, we flew with like a low cost uh, airline. So we just had two suitcases for the four of us and we couldn't, uh, I mean, you pay. If you have, if you're overweight, you pay. Besides the notebooks for the kids, I brought this um, sticker book, which I bought in a really adorable stationery shop in Tel Aviv um, probably two, three years ago. And again, I was kind of hoarding it. It was sitting around. So I grabbed it and I think they both kind of enjoyed it. Uh, probably again, Lily a bit more. And then this I carried around with me whenever we would go for um, dinner or even lunch. We had a restaurant, like it was amazing. It was like the hotel, then a restaurant, then the beach. And we would go to the restaurant for lunch uh, because, you know, it's like so convenient with kids. And what they used most, what was the like most, most used item besides the notebooks, were just like this uh, pencil case that I took with me and I will try to find, I got this one on Amazon, but sneak peek, I grabbed a few um, notebooks that I want to check out and maybe add to my shop. And actually this one looked really, really nice, but I have to kind of set them up and use them a bit so I can give you a better, um, review but I really like the setup of this one in particular and there's another one that I still need to I have a few this one is another one it's like expandable so I think it might also be a good choice but this one I've had for um, I think over a year and I think it's just like it's really really convenient and lovely so they used a ton both of them really really liked these um, pens from Derwent and I think they didn't destroy them and these you can find I think they're available on Jackson's I have them in my local art shops I'll try to link to whatever I can find and then they also loved especially Lily these pens and I completely understand why because they are super um, glittery these I bought, I, no, I think I bought them locally in Austria. They're like super, super sparkly from Pentel. Uh, again, they're called, I'll tell you how they're called, Hybrid Dual Metallic. And I have, I think I took with me two colors. There aren't, there weren't a lot. Yeah, there's a pink one that I really, really like. And that's what they really used the most. They really used mostly the pens. As you can see, I took also a ton of pencils, which I will show you in a minute because I did kind of make a thing out of choosing the colors. So <laughs> I'll show you what I took, but just this, I really like um, kind of like heavy duty pens that you can give to your kids without getting too precious about them, which you can replace very easily and they're inexpensive. This is the Uniball Air Micro, and this one is the Faber Castell Pit Artist Pen Fine Liner. I have a black one, I have a pink one. They are both uh, a huge success with both girls, so sometimes really the simple things work best. 
and yeah so maybe i'll just do a different video with like swatching all the stuff i took i think maybe that'll be easier so it's not if you want to see like all the colors that i took kind of the color scheme that i came up with uh, i'll do that in a separate video i think it'll be more fun and i just i'll show you what i brought with me i also took this collapsible collapsible um, cup from Faber Castell, also very handy to have. Uh, you can use it, of course, for water, but also to like put your pencils or pens here um, for kind of easy. It's easy to see what you have. I also brought this little um, thing, <laughs> pencil case, with some of my new colors, one and two, and I'll show you the colors in the second video and I only used them a little bit and my kids definitely preferred you know when we were sitting in a restaurant uh, it was just easier with like pens and pencils and not the um, pastels but I love them the pastels okay and the before I'll before I look I show you the watercolors I also brought my stamp sets kind of a touchy topic because I keep getting asked and I'm so so happy that there is you know interest uh, when I'm doing a restock but I've had all kinds of issues with um, yeah just like ordering the stamps and I think I will try to work with a different company and hopefully it'll be faster and easier it's it's just been a bit of a, a saga and it's it's also it's not just like it's not necessarily someone's fault it's just like it's summer and I was away you know I went to Israel then I came back for a couple of weeks and then we went again for two weeks and I was away from my computer so uh, yeah everything was kind of got stuck but this is the second stamp set and it's like perfect for traveling and I'll show you I wanted to make more samples also on the trip but I just it just didn't really work we had in the um, we had like a cute kind of a little uh, unit in the hotel it was like a very uh, simple hotel beautiful lovely super nice owners uh, like a family owned hotel in Paros in Greece that's where we went to and we had a really nice balcony that was really nice to like sit and have a drink because it was shady but it was kind of like you 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 could get like a nice view of the sea so that would be like nice to you know paint but it was kind of to the side and it just there wasn't really a way for me to set up nicely and sit and uh, paint so yeah um, hopefully next time. So this is the palette that I actually took for my kids. Uh, again, they mostly sketched with like pens and I don't even think I opened this. I think one time they painted with me uh, using my fancy watercolors. Yes, that was difficult. But this one is the one I took for them. Uh, it's just a palette. This used to be kind of my go-to palette or you know kind of little rainbow palette before I got this one and so it really has a nice selection of colors that I really love some of this is Schminke Academy which uh, came with this set and and then I added a few other colors that I love like you have here Wisteria which is kind of similar to uh, cobalt violet not as good but also not as expensive <laughs> so I think the kids can uh, deal with it and I also added this really lovely kind of I don't know a peachy metallic color which I thought would be fun but yeah I just we didn't open this one so this one let's see how it survived the trip yeah a bit messy so as you can see I'll explain this this was experimental and I think it actually worked fine so as you know uh, as you know this palette comes with a metal insert which is what makes it like 
in my opinion, uh, extremely versatile and pretty much, I, I keep saying it's not perfect in any way and yet altogether it's one of my most used, most favorite, most versatile palettes and a lot of you uh, have bought this palette as well and uh, gave me really really good feedback so I'm just really happy that I found it and that I can share the watercolor palette Joy. Uh, however, as I said, we flew and we I couldn't go overweight and I didn't want, you know, we also we flew to Mykonos and then we took a ferry to Paros and then we did the same way on the way back and in Mykonos everything is kind of like on the um like on a slope kind of so you have to go up and down and there's these tiny um you know apartments or pensions where we stayed where they were like the the staircase barely fit us not to mention a suitcase and we didn't have like ginormous suitcases but we had like you know large suitcases we were like four people traveling with two suitcases so um i was really trying to keep the weight down and so i didn't uh, fill it up completely and include this inside which, you know, to have that option, again, adds to the versatility of this palette. And especially if you, um, if you don't struggle with a more, with painting with a more limited color palette, which used to be a huge struggle for me, but I have really, in the last, I don't know, year, let's say, I have really enjoyed, um, yeah, I found I can... I can manage. <laughs> so here I have, there are 16 wells in the palette here around. And then I also added these two here with glue dots, which as you saw, it's not the strongest thing. Now, the paints that I have here, uh, these two are, this one is Lucas Naples Yellow Red. I'll swatch them in a different video just to share with you which paints I took, but uh, just to talk about the formulation, I rearranged this palette and moved some things. One of the things that I took out was I had a color that I actually really love, Ultramarine Pink from M. Graham, which is a beautiful, beautiful color, but M. Graham's are honey-based watercolors and they kind of never fully dry. And I traveled with that, with this palette and that paint to Tuscany last year. And I had to uh, store my palette like this all the time because if it was tilted or more dangerously like this, the paint just like flew, like slowly just sipped into all of the pans that were here, which is very um, messy and yeah it's it's kind of bad because you don't want to contaminate your paints in such a way uh, so everything I have now here is either well I actually have a lot of brands this is Schminke but that's the only Schminke one I have here I think it's mostly Daniel Smith there is some Rembrandt Van Gogh Holbein I think that's it uh, they all work perfectly. I think Daniel Smith has a relatively dry formula, which I find is really, really perfect for traveling. Uh, but uh, all of the brands that I have here, they didn't give me any issues and it was great. And you can see that you get, uh, if you remove that metal insert, you can put here pencils, pens, brushes, and there's actually, this palette comes with a tray. I'll show you an empty one. I got for myself a backup after like half a year of using this daily. I realized, okay, I should have a backup. So this is how it looks when it comes. And in my shop, uh, it actually, uh, you can choose, it comes uh, filled with half, with empty pans and you can choose if you want full pans or half pans. And there is also this clear uh, mixing tray. Uh, I usually don't carry it with me because I don't find that I need it and it just takes up space and I prefer to mix on the white but it does come with a palette and then you really have a lot of space to mix paint which is great especially if you use you know if you take the insert out which you can very easily do and you want to travel lighter and have less colors 
So this is how I traveled. Yeah, there wasn't, sadly there wasn't a lot of paintings, but I really, I just like felt like, okay, I need to come back and paint more. And the sketchbook that I took, you can see I just started to, I did very little. So, sorry, uh, I'm also sad about it, but that's just how it was. And I was happy to be in the moment and enjoy the vacation. This is the Fabriano Vergatone sketchbooks, which I've talked about like a hundred million times. And I think they're wonderful. And I love the paper. And uh, you get a lot of pages. I can't remember how many, but you can see it has like these beautiful deckled edges. And yeah, so I just started a little bit swatching with my stamp set. This one, the sketchbook essentials. And um, like swatch a little bit my pencils, the pastels, the brushes, and write the details. But yeah, I didn't get to do a lot of it. So this was just like a sketch that I managed to do one day. And then this one was of our beach, but I don't like the color choice of pen that I have here. And then that's it. Very, very embarrassing. Um, Lily probably did as much as I did, but I'm still hoping to fill this with um, memories <laughs> from Greece. <laughs> and yeah, so that's what I took with me. I hope this was helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will continue to swatch everything I took for you so you can see the colors that I chose and you know maybe it will inspire you to uh, pack your own kit or create color stories. I use these stuff regularly whether I'm home or traveling mostly home <laughs> so uh, it's not necessarily travel related it's just art supplies related. Anyway I hope you enjoyed this video I'm glad to be back to everyone that asks me, thank you so, so much for your interest in my stamp sets and the moment, the moment that they are restocked. This time I'm not going to do a pre-sale. I'm just going to order a bunch <laughs> and hope <laughs> that it's enough. And once they are in the shop, you can buy them and they will be shipped out, um, you know, within like a day or two. So there won't be like the whole waiting after the pre-order. Um, yeah. So whenever that happens, you will be the first to know. I will scream it from the rooftops and post it everywhere that I am. And the best thing also, if you're not regular on YouTube here, then sign up for my newsletter. I never spam and I only write things when I have something important to share <laughs> or fun things to share. But yeah, it's not like a daily newsletter or anything like that. It won't uh, explode in your inbox. So uh, sign up for the newsletter. The link is below so you can be notified when these are back in stock. I will uh, restock the first set, which I'll show you. I took also this block which fits perfectly to all of the stamps in the um, sketchbook essentials set. And I decided to take the Stazon Stone Gray ink. It's, I'm not gonna lie, it's tricky to stamp on textured watercolor paper in a sketchbook, but I don't mind the messy look. And I'll show you here that I also enjoy kind of going over it with a pen. So you can kind of add, you can see like your own scribbly lines and everything. And then it it doesn't even look, I mean, it looks stamped because it's like so uniformed, but like these ones, I think they definitely look like you sketched them or I sketched them. And they were stamped. I just went over with a pen. So it gives it like a different look. Um, so I preferred this one, usually the one that I use, especially for the demos because it's very, very crisp, is the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. But this is also a little bit messy. This is a very juicy pad. I've never re-inked it and I've had this for five years without a problem. And it also, I really like the this. I don't know if they still make it like this. 
but I also feel like it's a little bit dangerous to travel with this because I'm very messy and this one the stays on is just drier and less messy especially with my kids they got into the stamps and yeah I was happy that I had this kind of drier ink with me so yeah that's what I took and I will be restocking the watercolor workbook set, which is perfect for swatching your paints, swatching your palettes, mixing colors, all that's kind of fun. And then the sketchbook essentials, the new stamp set, which is really, really fun to play with. And my kids loved it as well. Uh, I kind of did most of the stamping when Lily, my five-year-old, was away. But Ella really, really enjoyed it. She just like had fun with it. So we didn't have a lot of time. And that's, I'm not gonna, okay. I'm not gonna show her sketches because I don't know if she wants me to share them. So that's her thing. But you can see she also like did this with the watercolors and then colored these actually with pencil. So this is besides, you know, fun <laughs> for grownups. <laughs> For us art supplies um, fans, uh, it's also a really great activity for kids. You can let them stamp this, you can stamp this yourself and let them color it like coloring pages. And you know, you it never ends. You can stamp this like a thousand times. So really, really, really fun set. Super excited about it. And yeah, I'm gonna make more samples so you can see what you can do with it. And this video is very long, so. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in another one. Take care. Bye-bye.